To President Susan Lam, DVC faculties, families, and fellow graduates of 2020. Good afternoon. I'm Marcelia Buriman, an international student from Indonesia majoring in communication. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of a follower who used to live in someone else's shadow. Since I was young, my parents have always let me make my own choices. They never doubted me when their friends asked, why choose communication? Why not be a doctor, lawyer, engineer, or businessman? Although my parents turned a blind eye on them, I used to take into account on what others think about me and what is considered prestigious. Having three siblings who all attended and were active in DVC has inspired me to achieve even greater things. Before coming to the United States, I have planned to join many clubs, apply for scholarships, work on campus, and earn straight A's in every class like my siblings because grades are everything in my country. A is average, B is below average, C can have dinner, D, don't you dare come home, and F, find a new family. Through many challenges, I have learned that being overshadowed by someone is not entirely flawed. In fact, it prepares us to excel in the future. However, the problem of living by someone else's definition of success may eventually devalue our true selves. When we follow those whom we look up to, we unconsciously force ourselves to fit into their identities and limit our abilities. When unable to achieve the same success, we feel useless and perceive it as a failure. My sisters were vice presidents in major clubs in DVC, and one of them interned off campus during college, while I don't. In fact, I have decided to value the price of authenticity. DVC to me is a platform to carve my own path to success. By being a senator at ASDVC, working as a communication tutor, and eventually becoming the president of DVC Omega Leo Club, others' achievements are no longer a measurement of my own. Rather than complimenting others' fulfillment, why don't you give yourself a pat? You've done great for every decision you've made, for every time you faced, and for every achievement you've accomplished, you have proven that you are worth the process. Today, the story of a follower reminds us to personalize every script in life. Without having our career goals dictated for us, without undervaluing our competence, and without conforming to the society's ideal image of success, we can show what we are made of and what we are capable of doing. Thank you, DVC, for letting us explore beyond standards, preparing us to embark on the next journey, and helping us ignite our true color. To the class of 2020, congratulations, and I'm excited to see you all on top. Hello, welcome, and congratulations on making it this far. My name is Carly Gordon, and I am honored to have been selected to be your graduation speaker. During this speech, I will give my introduction, my involvement on campus, and lastly discuss the importance of a community in your personal development. To start off, I am a computer science major from Vallejo, California. I plan on studying computer science with an emphasis on data science and artificial intelligence at the illustrious Clark Atlanta University in Atlanta, Georgia. And by the time you are all watching this video, I will be graduating from Diablo Valley College. My time at DVC has been filled with so many positive memories as a student, leader, volunteer, and a community member. During my time here, I was fortunate enough to participate in several extracurricular activities such as my club, STEM and Color, where I served as president, ASDVC Student Government, where I served as the Technology Affairs Chair, Speech and Debate Team, being a math tutor in the Puma Center, and even as a student speaker on Convocation Day. 
Out of everything that I participated in, STEM and color left the greatest impact on me. To help provide some background, I initially came to DVC from a four-year university where I was studying mechanical engineering at Howard University for a couple of years. And later, I decided to change my major. DVC provided the best financial option for me at the time. However, I did face some challenges transferring from a predominantly black university to a community college where I was often the only black person in a lot of my STEM courses. After receiving some advice from a professor, I decided to go to the Puma Center to join a learning community. It was here that I was able to interact with students from Emoja, Puente, Mesa, and eventually meet some friends that would go on to found the club known as STEM and Color. Now what made STEM and Color so different from any other club on campus was our holistic approach to diversity and inclusion. We reached out to other minority students who may have experienced the same isolation that I initially felt, while also extending the club to anybody else who may want to join our community. We held weekly meetings, informational workshops, panels with professionals of color, and even provided free company tours at the uh, headquarters of Slack and Visco. We encouraged difficult conversations about diversity and gave students the tools that they may need to enter STEM workplaces in the future. This allowed us to create a family of not just minorities, but people of all races, all genders, all sexual orientation, ages, and others who are studying STEM majors. Our club was truly a reflection of the change we want to see in our industry. So this brings me to my last point, which is the importance of community. If there's one thing that you should take away from my speech today, it is this message. An African proverb reads, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And if you can't find a space where you feel welcome, make your own community. Whether that be a club, a band, or even a movement, just anything that connects you to other people who share a common goal. In my personal experience, Working with STEM and Color not only made me a better data scientist, but also a better speaker, leader, and advocate, and overall person. I'm very, very thankful for my Puma experience. So lastly, I would like to thank the faculty and staff of the Puma Center for supporting me in ways that I could never pay back. I'm very, very eager to pay it forward. And I encourage everyone at home to take this moment to thank the people who helped you make it to this point. As activist and author Alice Waters once said, teaching kids how to feed themselves and how to live in a community responsibly is the center of an education. And with that, I would like to once again congratulate the graduating students of Diablo Valley College, class of 2020. Good evening, DVC graduates, staff, family, and viewers at home, or from wherever you may be watching. Today marks an important step for the future leaders of this country. We celebrate the successes of those honored in the ceremony. However, this year is a little bit different. As you can see, we are not gathered together to see all the bright faces of the educated minds that will help shape the narrative of the future. The coronavirus pandemic that has impacted this year has overshadowed the hard work of these individuals. My fellow graduates, this pandemic is symbolic of your work that goes unnoticed by the masses, simply by the fact that you only know how hard you have worked to be here today. But today is our day, and I'm here to remind you that all your work does and will matter soon. In the face of adversity, we have maintained perseverance. It is the ethics of Diablo Valley College that instills in each of us to strengthen our personal growth and being able to become a productive member of society through education. It is through education that we're able to open our minds and of others to be able to make the world a better place. It is through education that gives us the strength to overcome obstacles that seem to be out of control or impossible to achieve. I speak from experience as my journey throughout my academic career juggled hardship after hardship, from failing grades to caring for my ailing father and being unable to juggle personal and professional life, I fell and fell many times. I failed university and college after college, not knowing where my life was headed, or, nor expecting to ever succeed in post-secondary education. I cared for my father who was battling cancer and had to choose to leave school 
and quit working two jobs to aid in his recovery full time. I pushed and pushed myself to my breaking point. However, in light of this adversity, I kept going, still, never forgetting what I wanted to accomplish for myself. After the worst was over and conquered the obstacles I faced in life, I found Diablo Valley College and has forever changed my life. With inspiring professors, attentive administrative staff, and a welcoming, diverse student body, I felt encouraged to go above and beyond than what was expected of me. I finally found an institution where I felt I could thrive academically and not feel like an outcast from my community. It was Diablo Valley College that helped a lost, misguided, young man of color find his way to the path of a respectable career. And now, I am a wiser and more knowledgeable young adult who hopes to become a mental health counselor to help the most vulnerable succeed in life. I chose to speak to you all today to inspire and reach out to those who are feeling lost. Whatever situation you may be in, just know that there is hope. And what I hope most of all is that you all understand when I say that even when I do not know you, and even though I may never meet you, laugh with you, or celebrate with you, is that you are important and will always have a place in this vast open world. Finally, I want to congratulate the Diablo Valley College graduating class of 2020. We are truly a unique group of graduates whose recognition had to be compromised in light of recent events. However, we will prevail in becoming the future of this country. We are now a part of a future that is more aware of their surroundings and one is that more careful of our own actions. It is in this regard that our graduating class is the most important from recent decades as we have faced adversity and overcame it with our heads held up high and a cap over our heads. Together, with the help of our families and loved ones, we will be able to rebuild this diverse, colorful nation we call home and make it great again. Thank you.